hello and welcome back to my channel it's Rashida here again if you're new to this channel thank you for stopping by be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notification if you're a returning subscriber thank you for clicking on this video don't forget to like share and comment below today i'm going to be talking about a highly requested video and it is about how to pass your nursing school interview including tips tricks and most commonly asked questions so if it's something you are interested in please keep watching first of all i don't know why it took me this long to film this particular video because i've had a lot of questions regarding this video but obviously i was busy with school and all that but all the same it's still a good time as a lot of schools will soon be opening their application portal for 2024 intake so we are still right about that time so when it comes to nursing interviews, different schools have different ways of structuring and setting their questions. For most international students, it is 100% certain that your interviews will be done online via platforms like Microsoft Teams and Zoom and yeah, via online platforms like that. So like I said, different schools have different ways of setting their interviews. Some schools will do the one-to-one -one method, some schools one-to-two, or even one to three methods. It just depends on what suits them. So by that, I mean that you can either have one student to one interviewer, one student to in two interviewers, or even one student to three interviewers. In this case, interviewers will take turns one after the other to ask the student questions and grading the students at the same time. Some other schools use the group interview method, which I'm not really a fan of because it has a way of disrupting your thoughts, especially if you are not really confident at interviews. So a group interview will consist of about three to four students with one to two interviewers. In this case, the students are asked numbers. Let's say you have three students, they might ask you to pick like numbers from one to three, depending on the number of students. And the interviewers will take turns to ask questions. For instance, interviewer A, we ask one question and the student will answer the question in turns. So student one answers that question, student, second student answers the same question, the third student answers the same question, and the questions go in turns like that, like that. And at some point, the second interviewer will also ask questions. And at the same time, they are grading the students. Yeah, so they'll be grading you alongside. Now let's talk about the likely nursing interview questions proper. The first question you are likely going to be asked is the tell me about yourself question. You don't need to talk too much. Just keep your thing brief. Introduce yourself. Tell them about your educational background. Tell them about what you are currently doing and tell them about your healthcare experience, which you must have gotten when you were volunteering in an hospital. You know, we've talked about that several times. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go to my previous videos watch those videos and understand where this volunteering comes in so tell them a bit of what you were doing while you were volunteering how you helped patients and things like that just talk about how you cared for patients in brief not too much next thing you are likely going to be asked is why do you want to study nursing or why do you want to be a nurse sometimes they can even narrow down that why do you want to be an adult nurse or a mental health nurse or why do you want to be a child nurse also in answering that question do well to watch the video i made regarding how to write your nursing school personal statement you'll get a lot of information in that video that is going to help you during your interview phase as well another likely question that you are likely going to be asked is it might be around dignity so they might ask you like how do you maintain a patient's dignity especially when you are doing personal care giving bed bath and things like that so you can answer this question in different ways and you can also do that by giving an example it is always good to have an example in mind to give so when they when you are asked about questions like this you don't have to think too much you already know what you want to say <laughs> i hope you get what i'm saying so it's always good to be prepared have your examples some way so that when you are asked you know what you want to talk about always use an example so they know that is something you do is something you are very much aware of next likely question you might be asked 
may be around skills. They might ask you, what skills do you possess that will be useful to you as a student nurse? Or what skills do you have from your previous degree that you intend to bring into nursing? So you can answer this question in different ways again. You can do it maybe by listing your six C's of nursing. And you can also talk about your, the skills that you have acquired over the years in other aspects of life, such as teamwork, communication skills, time management, and IT skills. You might also be asked questions about interprofessional collaboration, teamwork, and qualities of a good team player. This is important because in the NHS, you'll be working with other healthcare professionals. So it is good for them to know how you intend to work with other people. They want to know if you are able to communicate effectively with other team members. You might also be asked questions relating to the six C's of nursing. So you may be, they may tell you to discuss one of the six C's of nursing briefly and give an example of when you exhibited that skill. So your six, skills, your six C's of nursing should should always be at your fingertips you should always know them at any point in time if anyone asks you another likely nursing interview question might be around empathy your interviewer might want to know how you show empathy to your patient this instance you can give an example as well so you can give an example of a situation where you showed empathy to a patient another question that might be asked around skills will be what skills do you intend to achieve at the end of your nursing program again there is no right or wrong answer here it just depends on the approach you want to use to answer the question in simple terms you can just reply with the required skills of a nurse that answers it straight up a particular question you should get yourself familiar with which is a no-brainer is the role of a nurse doing a bit of research into the specifics of nursing will help you to articulate and answer these questions appropriately. Similar to the last question, you should also familiarize yourself with the NMC values. These things are the bread and butter of the NHS. You should know about them before you even plan to take your interview at all. Another type of questions you are likely going to be asked as scenario questions. In this instance, you might be giving videos, audio recordings, or journals to read or watch, and questions will be pulled out from it. They might ask you about your findings in that particular material or they want to know, do you think anything was wrong in that scenario? It's just to test your critical thinking to know if you are able to identify if something went wrong in any instance. So these things are always, they are always pretty much straightforward. So it's really nothing to be scared of or anything. Just relax yourself and try to look at the scenario in the healthcare settings and try to be try to identify what you think is wrong it just depends on the questions they give you just try to identify what you think they might need from you in that scenario lastly you are likely going to be asked general questions about you the school you are applying to why you want to study in the uk they might want to know about your strengths your weaknesses your stress management techniques why did you choose to study in the uk or this or this school in particular how do you want how do you intend to care for your mental health you know general things like that and also they might also want to know about general things in the uk like the current nursing issues in the uk so you just need to do a bit of the research when it comes to all those aspects i remember one of my interviews and i was asked about the current nursing issues in the uk prior to that time i had already done my research and i did my nursing program post covid so I just looked at the things that were happening in the UK during the COVID era, you know, so I was able to pick up the things that were happening at that time. And during my interview, I remember on one website like that, I saw something about vaccination, how they were trying to, how they were trying to encourage a lot of people to get vaccinated and things like that. So, and there was a particular thing then that was a grab a jab campaign. So immediately I was asked that question during my interview and I mentioned grab a jab campaign. The interviewer was like, yeah, that's it, Rashida. So it shows that I know what I'm saying because I have taken time to do my research. You need to be able to talk about the things happening in the UK, even if you are doing your interview from Nigeria, from Ghana, from South Africa, 
you need to be aware of the current nursing issues in the UK. It shows that you are open-minded and you know what, at least you have a bit of idea of what you are coming, of why you are coming to the UK, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's it. We just, we just need to do a bit of research in that aspect. And like we all know, nothing is based on research and evidence-based practice. So you should eat the ground running even before you get your admission or every, anything like that. Because during your program, you are going to be doing research courses. So it's important to get yourself familiar with things that has to do with research. So yeah, that's it. The next thing I'm going to be talking about uh, will be my top interview tips, my top tips for this interview. So if you've watched this video till this moment and you have still not subscribed or you've still not liked my video, please do so now. Yeah, please do well to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Yeah, so let's go back to my top nursing, my top interview tips so for my top interview tips the first tip i'm going to be talking about will be practice your responses several times before your interview like you need to pre prepare your answers this will help build your confidence and demonstrate to the interviewer that you're a good communicator my next top tip will be when answering questions focus on your qualities your skills and your passion for nursing just let it flow naturally and from there they can understand where you're coming from. My next tip will be, since your interview will be done online, try to log in like five to 10 minutes before your time so you can check your internet connection is fine. And so if you have any technical glitch, you'll be able to resolve it before your interview starts because the worst thing you want to happen is to is to log in late and you are having internet glitches and things like that i know some of these things cannot be controlled but if you log in early you might as well have known that there's something wrong before your interview so i know sometimes if you are having internet glitch uh, they will reschedule you for for another interview another day or things like that but it's just better to get yourself prepared and get it done once and for all my next tip is going to be feel free to tell your interviewer to repeat themselves politely you do not want to be answering the right questions incorrectly or because you are shy to tell them to repeat themselves i know for some for some people it might be the first time that someone with a different accent is interviewing you but that's not to say that you can't tell them to repeat themselves politely so i'm sure they are in fact most times they are happy they are very happy to do so so don't feel shy or anything express yourself in the best possible manner that you can that you can express yourself don't feel shy if you are not hearing anything correctly tell them to repeat themselves politely and yeah that will be it my next tip will be follow your interview instructions when they send you an email with the link for your for your interview link date time and everything there's going to be another set of instruction like bring your id photograph for identification you know little things like that it goes a long way you don't you don't want to have a situation where they've told you to bring your id for verification and by the time you are sitting for your interview you don't have any form of id with you because you are going to show it so little things like that they really really go a long way so make sure you are prepared lastly if you're like me and you get a bit nervous with interviews my advice for you will be try to calm yourself down because trust me they have seen something in you that make them to believe that you deserve a chance or a slot for an interview so you don't want your nervousness to bring out why you don't want to be seen as in you. You get what I'm saying? So just try to relax and keep calm as much as you can. They already believe that you have something to offer. That's why they've given you this interview slot because trust me, a lot of people will not get a chance to be interviewed. And it is not because they are not good or anything like that. It's just that they didn't, they didn't get it so you have gotten the chance for an interview please try as much as possible 
calm yourself down prepare for your interview i promise you it is not that difficult it is not that difficult just calm yourself down prepare for the interview and try your best i hope you have found this video helpful and enough to guide you towards acing your nursing school interview please do well to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel like share this video with anyone who you think this might be useful for and comment if you have any question just drop me a comment in the comment section and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye